Welcome to episode 24. I can say that with confidence because I just started the video once, couldn't remember which episode it was, had to stop it and check. Definitely episode 24, I blushed. Apologies for the light, I've done my best with it, but what was quite a grey day and therefore where I sit, very good lighting for, for filming, the sun's come out and it's too stark a contrast so I've done what I can I apologize I did try Peter bought me one of those lights that sits behind the camera um, and it did make the light better but it reflected off my glasses and I didn't like that so, so we, we sent that back I also have an errant piece of hair here this is baby hair at the back of my neck. It never gets long enough to go into my ponytail and I forgot to put a hair grip in it. It's going to annoy me. Okay. Where to start? I've got a few things to tell you this week. Um, I'm going to start with the sock along like I normally do. Sock along finishes on the 31st of October. There are quite a few finished objects being posted in the threads and also on Instagram. However, can I just beg you please make sure you put them in either the finished object threads, which is let me check so I don't get it wrong. On Ravelry in the Mouses Makes group, Halloween finished object or birthday finished object. And on Instagram, use the house, house tag. That was a combination of hashtag and mouse. Use the hashtag MM Halloween Cal 2021. If you want the Halloween prize or MM Birthday Cal 2021 for your finished objects please. So far I think I've caught all the ones that have gone into the general chatter thread which is just Sock Along 2021 and under the chatter and sharing hashtag which is Mouses Make Sock Along. Hang on, I'm just checking. I'm worried now I'm going to give you the wrong the wrong information. I can't believe it doesn't actually yes it does. Up there, I haven't highlighted it. Yes. Mouses make suck along on Instagram is just for you to share what you're working on. Please don't put your finished objects there. I think I've caught them all so far as I say, but please try and let me know which prize you want to enter for by putting them in under the birthday or the Halloween hashtag. That said, what are the prizes? Well, the Halloween prize, so if you enter in the Halloween finished objects thread on Ravelry or under the Halloween hashtag on Instagram, this is what you're entering for. It's a bat print sock sized project bag with a purple lining, a little set of um, stitch markers, progress keepers that are bat shaped. That's one of mine. I've left your pack unopened. And this set of mini skeins from Little Mouse House called Troll Music that are 75, 25 superwash merino and nylon. So ideal for heels, cuffs, toes on your socks or to go into your scrap blankets or whatever. That's the Halloween prize. The birthday prize is, well it's not really a birthday themed sock bag but it's just a pretty sock bag with a flowery lining. The little progress keepers that go along with this are, and this is tricky, hang on, hang on to me, there we go, 
So there's a Jammy Dodger, pretty little slice of birthday cake, piece of Battenberg, which I think is my favourite one actually. Sorry, I keep. There you go. And this, which I've been calling a Jaffa cake. But the more I look at the shape of it, the more I think it might be a chocolate digestive or a chocolate shortbread or something like that. I'll leave it to the winner to decide. And with this prize comes a sock set, again from Little Mouse House. Scented candle is your main colour and then you've got two, no, the whole thing is called scented candle. Ignore me, I'm talking rubbish again. So you've got a grey to cream faded uh, main colour and when, when, where are my words today? With, I, what it is, is I'm mixing them all together. My brain is going faster than my mouth. And I was trying to say with green and it came out as when. With a green and a little pale lemon minute. While I'm on the subject, it, there is nothing to stop you entering for both prizes. There's that bit of hair again. Um, sorry, that's disgusting, I know. There's nothing to stop you entering for both prizes. Um, just make sure that you put both hashtags on your picture or you put them in both threads on Ravelry. There is a third prize. And the third prize is for my personal favourite. Um, excuse me. I'm going to do what I swore I was never going to do, but I'm really croaky this morning. Hang on. Do you see my mug? Look. And just to prove that they're not the same mug, here's your mug. See, look. I've not borrowed your mug. It's okay. Yes, there is a mug and another Troll Music sock set for my personal favourite out of all the socks that are entered. So no matter which thread you enter in, you've got a chance of winning two prizes, really. We have on a Thursday a morning Zoom and now there is also an evening Zoom. The morning Zoom is at 11 o'clock British summer time. Um, and the evening Zoom is at six o'clock British summer time. To give really people overseas a bit of a chance. I'm giving up, look, it's back. Give overseas viewers a bit of a chance to join in. I seem to, I don't want to jinx myself, so I'm going to touch wood. I seem to have sorted it out and it ran very smoothly last week. Apart from the fact that the evening Zoom, we had an unwanted guest. Now, everyone is welcome. If you want to join, all you need to do is either email me at mousesmakes at gmail.com or the best way, but if you haven't got Instagram, you can't do this, direct message me on Instagram and I will add you to um, the, the group chat so that you know what the ID and the codes are. Everyone is welcome, as I say, but... I do put a limit on how many legs participants may have and I'm drawing the limit at four because I'm happy to have your dogs and cats join us, that's fine. Rabbits, whatever, guinea pigs, mice, rats, whatever you have. But you must have at least two legs and no more than four legs. And our unwanted guest had, well, 100% more than four legs. Let me just put it that way. And I was sat here in this chair it was quite dark and out of the corner of my eye I saw a shape move across the floor. Wasn't happy. I had to tell the ladies I was muting myself because I was about to bellow in a very ladylike manner of course for Dave to come to evict the unwanted guest. Ewan was across the landing in his bedroom, so he got here first and he said, where is it? Because they all know the tone of voice I use when an unwanted guest visits. And then I uttered those words that every arachnophobe hates to use. I don't know where it's gone. 
So Ewan went to get a glass, Dave went to get a torch and they found it under the bookcase. I don't know how it got under there. It was the size of a small car and the gap underneath the bookcase is only about that big. But he hooked it out with a, a with a thing you hang, not a clothesline. Help me out here people, I know you're doing your best. Hanger, close. <laughs> Hooked it out, caught it in the glass, evicted it down at the bottom of the garden. Hopefully it won't find its way back. But every time I'm in here now, I'm like scanning, scanning the floor. The reason I'm so rubbish with my words today is that I really overdid it yesterday. And even though I had a lay in this morning and slept, Till almost lunchtime. I'm filming this quite a bit later than I normally do. I think my brain is a little bit full of toxins probably because I have been also a little bit dehydrated the last few days. Don't know why um, but it doesn't help with the old kidney function and the clearing of toxins. So who knows what might come out of my mouth. This will make it even more exciting for you today trying to work out what language I'm talking in because it probably won't be English as I've already demonstrated twice now. I can have some more. And really, I am very thirsty which is kind of an indication that I've not been keeping up with my fluid intake but also I just want to keep showing you my mug. So there you go. Oh and I forgot to bring my cushion over. My cushion, you know I've got my um, mouse's makes cushion I like to put it here so you can see it but I don't leave it there because it's not for cats and everything in this house is apparently for cats but not that cushion so I put it safely away and it, it sits sits on top of my overlocker actually I've got a box over my overlocker and it sits up there like a piece of art which it is quite, quite honestly it is it is my art. Well, it's not my art. I didn't make it. I'm going to shut up because I'm doing it again. Right. What have you been making this week, Mandy? As this is called Mouse's Makes, let's talk about what you've been making. What a jolly good idea. First of all, as we've just finished talking about the sock long, I have finished a pair of socks. Another pair. So I'm doing, I'm on target. I've made four pairs and this is week four and I said I wanted to do eight pairs so far I'm on target the pair I'm about to cast on might take me a little bit longer so I might not have a finished pair to show you next week but I'm going to try this is and they're coming out a bit dark I don't know how they come out on your screens this pattern is all is calm by Kay Jones of the Bakery Bears although I did change the toe and the reason I changed the toe is that I was knitting them during zoom and I didn't have the pattern to hand so I just did my ordinary toe I think the pattern has her special umbrella toe on it so that I did change I used a little bit of yellow just as a little bit to brighten them up and the yellow is Ducky Darling's and it was from her Make It So set of minis. They're Star Trek inspired and I thought they were called To Boldly Go, but I checked and they're not. They're called Make It So. So this is the yellow or the gold from that set. The main body of the socks, <coughs> there I go, you see, is from Knit and Pearl Yarns sunflower gardens set and it doesn't have a name of its own it's just kind of the middle color of the sunflower gardens set so that is those did them on a 2.25 needle can't remember if that's what the pattern specifies i think it probably does because that seems to be what she knits on most of all and i did 64 stitches I used to always knit my socks with 60 stitches um, 
but I've switched to 64 and I seem to be getting a slightly better finish. I mean, four stitches isn't that huge a difference. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to say about those. So that's pair number four, sock along, socks finished. I also mentioned last week that I was giving up on the Hoagie Locatelli shawl that I was making because I couldn't get it right. I'm rather glad I did give up on it because quite frankly, the state my brain is in at the moment, who knows what I've been doing with it. So I gave it up and I've cast on the One and Done shawl by Casapinka. I've made it before. You might remember I made it earlier in the year in Ducky Darling's Peony yarn. So I know it's a quick knit. And I want to enter this in the Across the Pond Shawl Cow that Ruth loves to knit and Little Monkeys and Me are running. And that finishes at the end of this month. And as today, it's the 22nd. I had to do something I knew I could knit quickly, so I cast this on. It's coming out quite orangey, well, on my camera, it might not be on yours. But I said before, something about the light, let me try, something about the light in here makes everything very yellowy. Is that any better? Not really. It is highlighter pink. It is shocking pink and it is exactly the colour of a highlighter and I don't know if you can make it out but every now and then this kind of a highlighter orange pops up in there as well. Now you're probably looking at this and going Mandy that's awfully bright. Awfully bright. Are you going to wear that? Really? Let me introduce you to my raincoat. I also have a mock suede, I don't know what the, the fabric's called, but it's like a mock suede um, biker style jacket that is my for best jacket in this colour. Until I discovered green, this was my favourite colour. Yes, I probably will wear it, maybe not together, although it could actually. This is paler than my coat, wow. My coat makes this look quite um, pedestrian, really, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm not getting run over in the dull weather. No chance. So, yes, I am quite confident that I will wear it. Um, I'm also fairly confident that I'll have it finished for next Wednesday, let alone by the end of the month, because I really, really wanted to enter, well, I'm saying Ruth's, but it's Ruth and a lady whose name I can't remember, the little monkey to me lady. Can't remember her name, sorry. Um, because I, I do enjoy Ruth's podcast. If you've not watched it, it is well worth the watch. She is just the loveliest person. And she always enters my competitions. I wanted to enter one of her. And I didn't find out about it till it had already started because I was a bit late catching up with um, episodes. So I found myself a quick knit. I do like the colour. I wish I could get it to come out the right colour though. That's a bit more like it. If you can see it right over on the edge of the screen, that's a bit more like the proper colour. It's taken the yellow out. So, yeah, if I bring it over here, it goes really orangey yellow. I am enjoying that, and that should be, I hope, finished for next Wednesday when I record again. However, let me see if I can do something. That's better. I've discovered something 
that is more addictive than crack cocaine and I feel a little bit like somebody has been holding out on me. Oh, I just... And I'm looking at you, Alex and Jane. I've just found the paracetamol that I brought upstairs with me last night and couldn't find this morning. See what I mean about my brain at the moment? I've looked everywhere for those. What have you discovered, Mandy? I'm sorry, I got distracted again. It happens a lot at the moment. I've discovered, hang on, I'm trying to untangle it. Corner to corner crochet. Why has nobody told me about this before? I can't put it down. I started it, um, Caroline's, Caroline from the Aria Bark podcast does a knit and natter on a Friday morning. And I wanted to do something different. I was a bit fed up with my socks and everything else I was knitting. I wanted to do something different during the knit and natter. And so I got this yarn, um, which was the leftover from the yarn I had from Alex at my yarny corner to make my DK socks earlier this month. And I had a little bit left over and I thought, oh, I'm going to start my DK scrap blanket with that. Well, all that green I did during knit and natter. And then I went on the scavenge around my craft room looking for other DK scraps. And I found all of this, which you might recognise if you've seen earlier episodes. It's what was left from my stillness sweater. And I'm trying to remember, I think it's Riot, King Cole Riot DK in Funky. I know it's Funky, and I think it's DK. No, I know it's DK. I think it's King Cole is what I was trying to say. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I bet you're wishing I hadn't bothered today, aren't you? This is what my family has to live with all the time. So, yeah, count yourself lucky. You only get half an hour of it once a week. So, I've used up almost all of it. I've got this little tiny bit left. And I think, I think that's all my DK scraps. But all is not lost because I've got a tub over there. It's actually a pet food container. You know, they're sort of tall and narrow and they've got a hole in the top well i use that for putting my scraps in because i could just lift up the hole and drop them in so i fished out all my dk from there but there's a lot of aran and light chunky so once i finish this little scrap i'll put this away until there's some more dk scraps and i'm going to start on an aran one the only downside of it, really, is A, it's very addictive and so nothing else is getting made at the moment. It got to the point where I have to tell myself, right, you can do an hour, an hour of this, and then you must do an hour of something else. Um, yeah, that's one, one downside. The other is that it's making, I've got a bit of arthritis in my thumb and it's making my thumb joint a bit painful because... Knitting doesn't do it often because when I knit, I lay the it over my hand like this. So my thumb's not really doing anything. But obviously when you're holding a crochet hook, you're pinching it between your, your thumb and your forefinger. So I think what I need to do is invest in some of those hooks that have got um, like a handle for want of a better word. You know, they've got quite a, a fat bit to hold on to. That might help don't know might not but yeah as I as it is my new obsession perhaps that's what I need to do so that's pretty much all I've been working on those three things I did finish the back of Peter's cardigan and he popped in on Sunday and tried it on and it's fine it's gonna fit him it's a bit I thought it was a bit long but he likes the length so we're okay but I do have some people call it an acquisition um i can't really call it that 
Although I have acquired it, that's true. I have some new yarn here that I have zero guilt about adding to my stash because, and I know I've said I, I sometimes fib about this, but I did genuinely win it. I did not buy it. I won it. I told you a few episodes back that the lovely Caroline and Andrew from the Aria Bark podcast were going to do a subscriber number giveaway. So she wanted to get her subscribers up to 100 and once she got there, she was going to do a giveaway. And I entered and I won. Which never happens to me. I enter everything and I never ever win anything. What did you win? I know you want to know. Shut up and tell us. Show us the goodies. I won this this yarn set which is all style craft special chunky style craft special is my favorite commercial yarn my favorite commercial sock yarn is west yorkshire spinners but this is my favorite everything else yarn four ply dk chunky whatever style craft special is my favorite and these colors i don't know if i can turn the camera around in my craft room there is one wall with wallpaper on because I had a roll of wallpaper that I bought um, and it cost £25 for one roll of wallpaper but I absolutely loved it and I didn't really know what I was going to do with it I just knew I had to have it I've had it for years and there wasn't enough to do any room in the house and there was only just enough to do this wall because it's got the big window on it. And these colours, I don't know if I can turn the camera around so you can see. These colours are going to go really nicely with it. Let me just try. Hang on. Oh, one's escaped. So I don't know if you can see. The wallpaper but sorry it's very close up close up view of me I, I apologize again it's gonna look really nice in here and it's a kit and it comes with the pattern which Caroline very kindly sent to me on Ravelry and I think it's gonna look really nice in here because what I like to do in here, um, it's the smallest room in the house and it's my dedicated craft room and has been for several years and I love it up here because it's a small room with a big window. All the windows in the house are much the same size, bar a couple, but most of the rooms are really large. So whilst it's not dark in the other rooms, there's not the window to room ratio that there is in here and I love being in here in the winter or in the bad weather if the sun's out in the winter it's great because I'm I love the sun the sun does not love me but I can sit in here and I can get sunshine and I'll turn my chair around and put my feet up on the windowsill and it's like basking in the sun on a Mediterranean beach or something but I love it just as much if the rain is pouring or it's snowing. Just sitting here and watching it happen. So, because it's not a double glazed window, it can get a little bit chilly, especially on the old totos that are on the windowsill. So I generally have a blanket. I've got this one that I made. You can't really see because I'm sitting on the end of it. But this will be a blanket to go on my legs when I'm watching the weather in the winter and, well, the spring, autumn, whenever, I just feel the need for a bit of coziness on my legs. So Caroline was a bit disappointed when she ordered it. She apparently, this comes in two packs. She thought she'd ordered the Sea Breeze, which is this one, so the blues and the yellows. 
which I would have loved equally as much because they are my favourite colours. But she's got this one, and I think that one, the colours are much more muted, as you saw, than they look in the... Our printers made them a bit bright. It's just going to tone in perfectly with the wallpaper, and I, I love stuff like that. I love stuff like that when it happens accidentally, in particular. Like with this, I'm unplugging it all again now. With this, this yarn from Alex, it worked out that each of the little squares pretty much was a different colour. I mean, sometimes there's two together, but I just love that kind of thing. When stuff works out like that all by itself. So yeah, so that was my excitement this week. I. I won a thing and the thing that I won couldn't have been more perfect and Caroline is so lovely um, it came with a notebook and a fancy pen and chocolate two lots of chocolate who doesn't love chocolate and some fruity teas so it was a it was a fantastic prize particularly for someone who never wins anything so I'm very, very excited about that. I was going to cast it on as soon as I got it yesterday, but then I thought, no, I'm going to keep it all neat and tidy so I can show you. So that'll probably get cast on later today and be another thing that I do instead of the things I'm supposed to be doing. But isn't that what knitting, well, crafting it is all about, really? So, yeah, I think that's everything. everything i have to tell you today no cats have visited us i'm afraid rocket was in here but i evicted him from his chair so he's not very happy rose is lying on a bench in the garden lily was wandering about up there haven't seen poppy today unless she's is she under there no not under the chair <laughs> who knows where she is and what she's up to so that's all I have to tell you today. Um, if you feel like coming and joining us for Zoom, please do. Um, the ladies who are on, there's not a huge group and everyone is really friendly and nice. So email or message me, direct message me on Instagram. Last week, I thought I'd be clever and I put my Instagram, rather than saying it was, you know, episode whatever, I put my Instagram kind of as a title screen. Spelt it wrong. So I won't be doing that again, because that backfired majorly. Um, I'm sure it was Ruth Loves to Knit used a phrase that my mum used to use all the time that I've never heard anyone else use. Hoist by my own petard. That's what I was. It's from Shakespeare, apparently, and it means to be, like, sabotage yourself. To have a cunning plan and have it backfire on you, essentially. That's definitely what that was. The other thing that I did was I put my Kofi, or I tried to put my Kofi account on the screen. Messed that up a bit, too. The Zoom ladies have been telling me because one of them suggested that I open a Kofi account and I said, oh, but I've got one. That I should tell people about it a little bit more frequently. So I do have a Kofi account. It's Mouse's Makes. If you would like to support the podcast, please do. Don't be bullied into doing like a fiver or anything. I think when you go on there, I think it has like a suggested donation you don't have to do that put in whatever you like pound whatever anything is very welcome to go towards prizes and postage and what have you so that's that i'm over my half an hour that i kind of allot myself and my coffee is going cold so i'm going to stop wittering nonsense at you now and i'm going to wish you happy knitting until i see you again next week apart from those ladies who 
who I will see tomorrow on the Zoom. Bye everyone.